Hey guys, it's Trop, and today I'll be starting a new series covering and analyzing specific clips from pop-up cups and competitive matches called Content Bite. For the first bite, I have a clip from a higher level pop-up match in Endgame. I'll cover the aspects of positioning, resource management, and taking appropriate shots. We start out this clip by making a mistake. As a solo, I think I might as well use mats in order to give myself a safety net in case I get exploded or pushed. However, I do not realize that the majority of players are not nearby, and there is little reason for a stack duo to push me. Keep this in mind, as it influences my late game decisions and willingness to take larger risks. Let's look at the rotation towards the next zone. It is clear that as a result of overbuilding a box space, I'm in a poor position. I'll go over the concept of resource management in another video, but it is clear that because of my choices, I am forced to look for picks or farm in order to gain more resources. I opt to try and rotate without using my resources. To do this, I take the outer edge of the zone which is partially shielded by natural terrain, and I'm surprised when the team in brick doesn't pop out to shoot at me. I know I have enough materials to make it to the next zone if I get shot at, and my hope is to go for picks to gain mats. Oh my god, they're gonna let me do it. The next part of the rotation is pretty self-explanatory. The teams pre-established in zone are looking for picks, and so are the team from brick. At this point, I need to look for picks to gain materials and health. Now I'm actively looking for picks. I transition from turtling and watching for potential enemies to focus on rotators and peekers. I see an opportunity and strike a peeker with my deagle. I'm hoping that enemies will see that I've downed a player and begin to pressure the turtle to secure a kill. Knocked him, oh my god, I'm so good. During the next turn of the zone, I happen to get lucky and realize that I will be pushing players into me. This is perfect, as I am controlling low ground with a few materials and have opportunities for picks. I'll speed the video along to get to more important parts. In this footage, I'm preparing to position myself as a late rotator in order to pick off low health players as they round corners in order to get back mats and health. I'm going to let this clip roll, but keep in mind of how I clear out low ground and rotate last so that I won't be shot in the back. With few materials, I have to keep track of when I'm at risk of being hit and when I can actively look for picks. No mat rotate, let's get it. Some mat rotate. You should swap to your AR instead of your D. You just like mm -hmm. Nice one, dude. Kill the stuff. He had mats. Some. But uh, my frames don't. don't. go for high, though. My frames don't have mats, dude. My frames literally don't have mats. Keep low. Yep. Oh, crap, man. Yeah, keep going. You need to try to get a med kit. I know. You should block your right. Why are they going off the mountain? The zone's not even on. Got you. Yep. It's not loaded. Just focus on rotating. Mm -hmm. I know I am. You can get a pick. Nice one. Because of my decisions, I get two picks and gain some materials out of it. I make a mistake and try to look for another pick by pushing height. I correct myself and see my weakened opponent has dropped. And I drop as well. Since low ground was initially empty, they do not expect me to eliminate them as they go around their build. This gives me a health and material boost. The players on high ground fight, and eventually only one is left standing. From here, it's an easy elim as all I have to do is win the playground 1v1. He's flying above me, of course he's not. Don't. PG oh. fight. <laughs> I don't have mass for it. Nah. GG! I'm Trop, and I hope you enjoyed this short content fight. I'll be continuing my series on how to play smarter and upload a few more content bites as more pop-up cups come out. These can all be found on my YouTube channel, which is in the comments below. Stay alert, and stay tuned for my next video.